And this team are in such a lovely place at the moment, Stephen, because they've got these young players, you know, like Rodrigo and Vinicius coming through, yet to have the old, experienced head of someone like Luka Modric remains vital, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's key. You know, with, with any good team, you need senior players. You need, to, obviously, success plan for the future. Um, he's, he is one of the best midfielders in the world. He has been for many, many years now. He's a technical leader. He'll receive the ball anywhere. He's comfortable getting pressed. He's, he can play the last pass. He can switch the play. He can play around corners. Everything that I think a midfielder needs to play at the top level, he's high quality. We used to say he was underrated. I'm not sure he is anymore. I think we're now well aware just what he's done and how he's done it. No, I think any generation of midfielders, you talk about the greats, he sits comfortably within that when you discuss them players. Um, what he's achieved has been nothing short of great. And uh, what was interesting speaking to him, uh, forget the individual brilliance and, and accolades, he's such a team orientated player. His mentality is all about the team. And he was stressing the importance of the, the European Champions League has at that football club, the pressure that comes with that these players have to understand and buy into, and he's completely into that, and obviously five Champions Leagues that he's won says it all. It's an, it's an important point, that, like, getting good enough to sign for Real Madrid is one thing, being good enough to stay there and win the trophies that he's won is a different challenge altogether, actually, isn't it? Well, this team will go down as, as great. I mean, the amount of, of European Cups in amongst that squad is, is quite incredible. Um, and Modric has been the forefront of that right the way through his career really he came you know at a really high level but i think he's gone on again uh, in this team and sometimes it takes you to be involved and playing with great players to get the best out of you as well i mean great players make other players look great as well and, and he does that he's not just great playing himself he makes other people look better so he's uh, he's a phenomenal player and the way he plays as well no wonder he can last i mean he's he's light on his feet uh he's never relied on pace everything that speedy is in his in his brain so he's, he's just top lads crouchy you've played him at spurs did yeah. you expect him to go on to this level and reach these heights do you know why it's so hard to say isn't it because you know at five champions league no one could have predicted that no one would, would say in that short space of time you'd win that many trophies but we all knew the ability he had as a player every single day in training it was a joy to train with him because in all honesty i've never seen him give the ball away and i think <laughs> even in training as well very rarely he's got that the, you know when he gets in those difficult positions he can always maneuver out of them and he was he was the one player you, you meet you know two or three players you know you know from a career and that you can give the ball when you've got one or two men they consistently ask for it he didn't need to be in space even with a man on he consistently get the ball and and, and dictate games